What is up guys? Hello, today we are going to be making a weight model. This is going to be my first on-shape tutorial, so we'll see how that turns out. Audio quality probably isn't going to be that good because I lost a, the cord for my mic, which isn't very good, so I'm hoping I'll find that soon. So, And of course, as usual, there's going to be a lot of background noise, so let's get started. So this is all my design. I don't know, I was bored, I picked up my tablet, loaded into on-shape, and then just found a random object, which happened to be a weight, and I made it so yeah um let's get started so on the top plane we're going to start a new sketch okay we're going to view normal to it we're going to press p to turn off all the planes because we don't need those and now first we're going to start a polygon start at the middle drag it out and then we are going to make one with six sides and just like that now let's get dimensions and set from there to there you're going to set that to be 60 millimeters. Oh yes, make sure you go here and here and make sure your length is on, set on millimeters here. Not any of this, make sure it's set on millimeters. Okay, so there we go. That's our first sketch. So I already saved it. So now we're going to extrude it, make it 3D. We're gonna bring it up 25 millimeters. So that's already there. We'll check that. And now we're going to make this a little nicer. We are going to fill it, all these edges, by 10 millimeters. So open this, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. And if I'm do going too fast, feel free to pause the video or slow it down. My voice will sound terrible, we all know, but uh, yeah, if you need help. And there we go. So we are going to set the radius to 10 beautiful just like that we're going to do a second fillet now and the reason why i'm not doing it at the same time is because we need different fillets so we're going to zoom in here and we're going to get these and there you go you don't need to click all of them it does it automatically for you and this one is going to be the radius is actually going to be five this time so it's a little bit different just like that okay we got the start of it now what we're going to do is do this do make a nice little loft and to do that we first need to make a new plane we're going to do offset make sure it's on offset and then bring it up we're going to bring it up five and that should be good on the top here so make a new sketch view normal and draw a circle right here are you gonna draw a circle okay i'm gonna draw a circle right here and set the diameter to uh, 30, 30 millimeters for that diam diameter. Check that. And now what we're gonna do is, let me hide this plane here, it's kind of in the way. So now we're gonna zoom in here. We're going to make a loft, so right here. Click loft, click here, and click there. Boom, we have a beautiful loft right here. And this is right, and then we're going to extrude this. We're gonna extrude it up by a lot. We're gonna extrude it up by 80. That's quite a lot, and yes, everything's good. Well, anyways, there we go. That's part of the weight done. And it appears I forgot there is another fillet here, so I'm going to add that in. I forgot to add that to the measurements. So we are going to click that one, and all by five. Very, very nice. There we go. That is one side. Now, believe it or not, we are done. You may be thinking, what kind of weight is this? And this is why we go into assembly here. This is where we finish it off. So we're first going to insert. Our part one, insert the weight, and we're going to grab another one and insert that. And this is kind of a weird tactic, but we're going to grab a fasten mate, and we're going to find it right in the middle, right there, and this one right on top. And that is not right. As you can see, that is not the type of weight I'm looking for. I, If anyone makes this type of weight, I think they got a little bit of Dane Bramage, because this isn't my, this isn't a weight I would normally pick up. Or we're going to flip it check it and there we go 
That is your way. I still do not know why it has all those segments right there. Maybe some expert out there who knows how to actually do on shape can show me how. I got a basic understanding. I only started this like a couple of days ago. So, well, there you go. That's the weight. Hey guys, and now if you want to make it curve up in the middle, how my normal weight is, we're gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna go to the part studio, and this is where the weight is right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to extrude. We're going to edit this, and we're actually going to make extrude disappear. We're also going to disappear, er, disappear. We're also going to delete the loft right there. So, and also, yes, the sketch. We're going to keep that fill up, though. And the plane, we're going to make it visible again. Oh, wait, no, that's not what we're going to do. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Okay. On the plane, let's make that uninvisible. Uninvisible. Let's make that visible. Sorry, guys. My brain is not working very well. Anyways, make a new sketch on this plane here. View normal. Here we go. Now, I'm going to do, uh, we're making it so it's the middle of it comes out of a bulge at the middle. I, I'll put up a picture to the top right of the screen in 3, 2, 1, boom. There we go. Okay, so that was the picture. And now, let's get on our sketch. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go 10 millimeters above this. So we're going to... Well, actually, let's exit line. So let's go to use. We'll use this point right here to help us out. So let me, oh wait, no, I can just do this. Okay, sorry. It's taking a little bit. So we got that point, and we are going to put another point above this point. There we go. Now let's set the dimension here. This and this. We're going to make that five. And now from this point, we're going to draw a line that goes up like that. And then we're going to draw another line like this. Escape the line and go a line again and draw another line that comes out like this. And again, escape line. Now let's add some dimensions here. This is going to be 80. That goes up quite a ways. This is going to be 12.5. This is also going to be 12.5. And then we are going to make a construction line. We're going to do that, find right the middle of this, right, right the middle. Find the middle of this, go out here and put, wait, go to the middle of this and we'll drag out a line like that and escape the line. Now we're going to add dimension to this and we're going to make it 13.5 just like that. Now we're going to add a spline and this is where the curvature comes in. We're going to go like this, like this, like this and we're going to escape. Okay that was not what I wanted to do. Okay do this, do this, do this and then do escape. There we go. I just press ESC on the keyboard on the top left of the keyboard. And anyways, we're going to check that. That is what we want. Now let me hide this front plane. And we're going to do revolve. We are going to be... We're going to do a new. We're going to do that. The revolve axis is going to be this line right here. Check that. There we go. Now we're going to do a loft. And this one's going to be add. Start profile. Let me zoom in a little bit and profile. And check. There we go, guys. That did not work. Let's try that again. Okay, why didn't it work? Because we need to do new. Yay! Now it works. Well, anyways, you can see there's a slight bulge. And here's the picture again. See, it has a slight bulge in the middle. So, yeah. Well, anyways... Now we're going to do what we did last time, where we go into assembly, and now we're going to insert 
our part. So as you can see there's different parts right here. We don't want to mess around with that because that would take too long to put together. Well, it won't, but you know what I mean. So we're just going to grab part one. Right there. Part one again. Right there. Check that. And we're going to do the same tactic that I used last time. Get a fasten mate right there, right in the middle of the bottom of this cylinder, and right here. And again, that was very weird. What have I done? Let me go like this. Delete one of these. Delete this. And now, what we're going to do is grab two of these. We're going to grab this one. We're going to grab this piece. We're going to add a fascinate right here. Fascinate right here. Flip that over. Check. Now we're going to add another fascinate right here. And another one right here. We gonna exit out of that. Let's right click on this and do fix because that did not work. So let's right click on let's see this, this, flip it around. There we go. And there we go guys. There there was the fully fledged weight with this slight bulge in the middle. It's a little difficult to see. If you want to see it better, then you just go back into the part studio here and you just edit this sketch right here. You just go and edit, and change the length of the little thing right there. Just change the length of this little line. We'll delete the spline, make this line a little longer right in the middle, and then redo the spline again, and then you'll see a bigger bulge. But I can I can see the bulge. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial how to make a weight. I know it's kind of dumb. I really have nothing else to do and I just wanted to try and see if you guys would enjoy a tutorial like this. And well, thank you for, so much for watching this. See you guys later. Let me know down below in the comments if you want me to make more tutorials like this one. Bye!